Online servers are one of the most beloved PlayStation 4 exclusives. Drive Club will be shutting down on March 31st, 2020. The news comes from Sony themselves, who announced the removal of the game from PSN on PlayStation's official website. The report states that all online features for Drive Club, Drive Club VR, and Drive Club Bikes will be completely shut down for March next year. However, all of the game's offline modes will remain fully playable, but trouble here is that Drive Club is a title that relies heavily on its online play so features like multiplayer racing, events, and challenges will no longer be accessible. This will undoubtedly be the ultimate blow to a game that got off to a very rocky start but was kept alive through numerous free updates and patches that eventually made it a fan-favorite racer on PlayStation 4. Apart from removing the online features, Sony have also stated that they will stop selling the game and its DLC altogether from August 31st, 2019. Of course, people who already bought the game, physical or digital, will still get to play it, although offline only. Paul Ryszczynski, the ex-director of Drive Club, took to Twitter to explain Sony's decision to remove the game from PlayStation Network. In his tweet, he explains that the game is being shut down for licensing reasons, which, as he elaborates, is standard practice for racing games with roughly five-year deals. Now a game director at Slightly Mad Studios, Paul mentions Project Cars as another example of a racing game that will inevitably suffer the same fate as Drive Club, stating that both Project Cars 1 and 2 will expire at some point as well. With Sony closing the company responsible for Drive Club's development and creation, Evolution Studios, back in March 2016, the news of the game's removal from PSN does not really come as total surprise. If anything, given the game's issues at launch and the closure of the company behind it, the complete shutdown was only a matter of time. But still, the news of the game's demise is sure to leave many racing fans disappointed, especially those who haven't got around to trying out its excellent VR mode yet, but were planning on doing so in the future. So let us know your thoughts on this. Are you sad to see Drive Club removed from PSN? And what are your thoughts on this game in general? Let us know in the comment section below. And please make sure to head over to Alcar.com for much more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Subreal and see you in the next video.